Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop. And the other day on my Fail Friday video, I showed you guys how to make these no rest French method macarons. Now today I'm actually going to be decorating them. So as you can see, I'm using my stencil genie, placing that cookie screen on top, placing my stencil, and then placing the other side of the stencil genie on there. And I am going to go with a gold sheen today by Americolor, and then I'm going to airbrush it on. Now whenever you're using your airbrush, you do want to make sure to really shake up that color quite a bit. Now this is no different than airbrushing a cookie, but the only difference is, is that it's a macaron. Now a few tips when you are actually decorating your macarons, I like to decorate the shells before I actually put them together. This ensures that everything is evenly coated and I just find it a lot easier to work with. Also, I did previously freeze these shells some of your macaron recipes might require that you actually mature the shells, which just means that you leave them in the freezer for a bit until they're fully ready and they come to the correct texture. If that is the case, you do want to avoid shiny shells or shells that end up kind of soggy. And the way that you do that is you just leave the container closed for the whole time until everything is completely thawed and it no longer feels cool to the touch at all. Then go ahead and open it up and your shells should be crisp and light as they always are. And this way it's going to make it a lot easier to airbrush. If you try to airbrush when they have that kind of sheen or gloss on top from coming out of the fridge with that condensation, then you are going to end up with a messy pattern. Plus the overall feel and texture of your macaron will be quite soggy. You'll notice with that animal print, I am using multiple colors on there. You can do this as well. You can create rainbows, do whatever you would like. And I am washing the silk screen in between. You'll notice that I did airbrush that whole one in gold. I was experimenting a little bit. It worked out just fine. However, I actually prefer dry brushing the luster dust on if I was going to do that type of technique. I just find that it's much, much more metallic and shiny when I do it in that manner. Now I'm using my Italian meringue buttercream and I'm just filling my macarons. I'm just showing you a few different piping techniques. You can really do whatever you would like. Really just depends on how you want that side of the macaron to look. You'll notice that I'm creating a little bit of a dam and then I'm going to fill this in with the compote that I made earlier. If you wanna see how I made that compote, it's super, super easy. I will leave that right in the right hand corner. The key to filling your macarons is making sure that you don't overfill or else you're going to get that compote spilling everywhere. And there you have it, our stenciled macarons. This is also a great way for people to personalize their macarons as well if they want to add on a monogram or whatever else. Now let's get into the pricing. Now these stencils are not stencils that I actually had to make. They already came like this. So my pricing would be as follows. And that is really dependent upon size. And I do have a 40 order minimum. You'll also notice that with my stock order, it was a little bit cheaper. And the great thing about stock orders as well is that there are no minimums. One last little idea here, I am using a little bit of a sprinkle mix and then I'm taking my macaron and dipping it in the sprinkles. Now I did place this particular macaron in the fridge and then dipped it because I didn't want to have too much sprinkle coverage. If you really, really want that covered, do it right away with no refrigeration whatsoever, especially if you're using American buttercream. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want to be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!